going on you guys your boy big dog here with another one take review and this is my review for mid 90s a highly anticipated film for me ever since i've been seeing it how this film was shot everything about it for me when i seen the trailer i i just knew off the top i said man you gonna i think you really gonna enjoy it because uh, I'm, get, I'm just getting right into it. it this movie was written and directed by Jonah Hill. Uh, I think it's his, it's his first of his directorial debut. And it takes place in the mid-90s, of course, in, like, uh, in L.A. During that, like, uh, it just follows these kids. You know, it just just follows a couple of kids. The main kid name is uh, uh, Stevie. He's a 13-year-old boy, and he gets in with this group of skaters. Kind of like out, well, what the world look as is like, outcasts, like hoodlums or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, gang members, you know what I'm saying, not even that, it just, they just looked at it like that because what they do every day, and they just following him, getting integrated into their group, you know what I'm saying, seeing their lifestyle and how they live and stuff like that, this movie for me was so perfect for me, dog, because it took me, like, took, like I, I, I was born in 93, bro, and so... I was raised in the nineties, and so this for me that was the best, literally like the best time in my life. Like I was, I was, at, I was at my happiest. You know what I'm saying? And everything about this movie, I, I, I swear, I kind of, I ain't gonna say necessarily completely related to because some stuff he did, I didn't necessarily do. But I feel like yo, I, I feel like you could have took one of them characters out of this movie and put me in there. Only thing different is that they had skating, I had hooping. It was like me and my partners, we all hoop. And so, I, when you watch it, it's just like this freaking nostalgic trip all the way back to like a, a, a much simpler time. No cell phone, you just get up, you go hang out with your boys, you just you got to be home at a certain time. It's like, and, and like so many things, this thing did right to where it's not necessarily a plot heavy film, which me, that, you know, that never bothers me because I, it's, like I said, if, I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm not really. You don't have to just have a super superb plot for me. You have to have characters that I like, and you have to have a good ending. To me, they usually sell a movie for me because I care more about the character than I do kind of because the characters get me through the movie, not the plot. So, and and this this had a group of characters that I fuck with so tough because I it's like I knew every single one of these people personally. They have a character in here named Fuck Shit, like. <laughs> person's name is literally fuck shit. I got a partner named fuck. I, like, that's his nickname, fuck. And this dude named fuck shit. So I'm like, yes, it's so inappropriate, but I, I know that I know that guy. You know what I'm saying? And like, certain situations, Stevie getting in with like girls. I'm like, I'm telling you right now, 13, 14, I was out here. Yeah, I did wasn't no version. I don't. I don't know. I don't know too many people who the version still at thirteen or fourteen. Like we were, we were doing some fucking when I was young, right? But either way, go. It's just like you seeing him interacting with like girls and he getting in. Like he just he just smoking. Like it, it, I don't want to just give too much away. But you just see like the whole the whole the whole wave, and it's like like it's certain parts where like. His brother, his, listen, his brother is like, Lucas Head just plays his brother. And he's like a complete ass. Oh, he whoops up on his little brother because he can, but in the streets, they ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? He whoop on his little brother because his little brother, but everybody else, he, you know what I'm saying? He get like certain situations and stuff happen. He's like, oh, you're not really tough. You're just doing that for these situations. Then his mom is, it's like she cares about him. Yet, uh, uh, he he's in a situation, and, and, and like, it's so much. It's so much just to cover, because he's in like a situation. He feels like the worst in the world, and I think we all had this situation when we were younger. We thought everything is just completely bad, but then you hear about other people's shit, and it's like it's in the scene of the trailer. Like, like uh, you think you're going through the most shit, but you want to trade your shit in your closet for somebody else's shit, and like that's true. And that that guy, Nikhil Smith, who plays uh, Ray, like like I to me. I wasn't necessarily. I wasn't looking for good acting. I wasn't. I, I wasn't watching this like how, how was the acting. I was just like, does these people seem real? Like, and that's what that's what the movie did the best to me. The authenticity, the, everything about this. My bad. I thought somebody was waving. 
the authenticity about this is, is the best part because it, it feels it's like real people. Like you, it really feels it's like a document that somebody had on a videotape and you just watched it. That's what that's what the best part about this film was, and it just has some good moments where like people talk, just characters just talking. And I like when the I like when the camera just facing them, and it could be like two or three people. They are the camera just facing them and they just having a conversation, and the camera just sit there and watch it as they talk, and. And some of the conversations they have and some of the insults, I'm like, yeah, this this was definitely us. Me and my boys just chilling and kicking it. This was us the whole way through. Like going to the party situation. Like everything the way the girls be gossiping and ice, all that. This movie had everything I wanted. I thought everybody in it did a great job. I, like like I said, I, I wasn't necessarily looking for acting ability. I just needed them to see like real people in real situations and how people would really talk to each other. And this is how and, and I think Jonah Hill got got that out of them. Like, hey man, you just, you just need to be some real people. Like, cause so many people aren't even actors. This is like their first thing. I guess I think they went to like a skate park and just grabs some people. Like, hey, you want to be in a movie? Like, I, I, my bad. I, I literally can talk about this movie all day. This movie even got down to the to the meaningless conversation, to where you just talking like, "Hey, uh, uh, would you suck your daddy dick, or eat your mama? Uh, you have to do one of them, or they gonna die." Like, I, I swear to God, we've had just stupid conversations of that sort, just plenty of time, just just dumb shit. Also, just covering the fact of like. You and you and a friend start off on like a mission together in, in life, and then one of them like falls out the wagon, and, and you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, hey, and, and you see, I, I've had friends like like I started journeys with, and they kind of fell out the wagon where it's like drugs or whatever, and, and like this this job was just it was magnificent, bro. I, I like. It, it covered so many things in just an hour and twenty four minutes, but it took me. It, it 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 covered a lot of things that I remember about the nineties. Uh, may, maybe it's nostalgia. I don't know, but for me, this this was one of my favorite films of the year. Two thumbs up, five stars, ten out of ten. Mid nineties is an A plus for me. There you have it. Like one of my favorite films of the year, and I can't. I honestly just can't wait to own it. So it is what it is. I feel no shame in this. I, I I loved it that much. Uh, but you guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.